In this video, I am going to discuss about Cartesian join or cross join. So the definition is the Cartesian join or cross join returns the Cartesian product of the set of records from two or more joint tables. Also, it equates to an inner join where the joint condition always assess to true or where a joint condition is absent or we can give dummy pair condition. So now I'm going to write to cross join of two tables query. So select a star from um, first two table EMP and uh, second DAPT. So let's uh, execute the query. So let's uh, add here uh, two tables joined and uh, total number of rows are 56. And now this time I am going to give a condition of where 1 equal to 1. And now execu execute the query. So the same output I am getting 56 rows applied. So now I am going to do this with Informatica. So right here. Uh, first row uh, source table EMPL and uh, uh, second uh, source table department and uh, from here I am going to take two expression transformation so let's uh, drag all attributes into expression transformation and I have uh, no need to, I'm going to delete higher than because the uh, date is not stored in a standard or right format. So delete the link. Or add here, uh, select uh, all attributes and drag into expression transformation. No uh, second expression transformation. And now Or take joiner transformation and select all attributes of exp trns and drag into joiner transformation and exp exp trns one drag into joiner transformation attributes and now drag target table into the mapping and uh, select all attributes and drag into target table. So if we validate then mapping is uh, showing invalid. The reason is uh, in joiner transformation we have must have to specify joiner condition. So there is only one option to give the joiner condition to give uh, to take uh, to add the port in expression transformation and specify the value 1 for both and after that to uh, just uh, give the dummy condition into joiner transformation so let's do, it, uh, do that add the port uh, data type should be integer and uh, add here give the port name d1 and uh, give the value 1 and now for this one add the port um, and a specific uh, data type integer should be and add here port name d2 so add the value equal to 1 And now drag D1 and D2 into joiner transformation. So specify the condition D1 equal to D2. And now validate. So this time mapping is valid. 
So let's uh, go to workflow uh, manager. And add your uh, take uh, session and uh, according to mapping, select the mapping and now add your uh, specify the source file directory that is in C drive. So right C column class and that file also is stored into uh, that file also in uh, C drive so give source file directory C column and for target table change target to, uh, table load and truncate target table option click on a uh, link to save the workflow so workflow is valid and now I start the so right here in incoming record from uh, EMPL fourteen applied and affected and from department for rows applied and affected and into the target 56 rows applied and affected in formatica we can uh, we can do cross or uh, join and add your uh, select a star from emp comma dpt so that is the query of cross join and one more select a star from emp comma dpt where one equal to one that is also or cross join query. So right here I specify where 1 equal to 1 because uh, that is the dummy condition that value always be true also uh, that. So now it's uh, done right here. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in next video.